What's up guys and welcome back to Religion of Aston Villa. Today I'm joined with Brad and we're going to be previewing our next game which is Middlesbrough in the Carboa Cup. So obviously we played Middlesbrough last week uh, and we unfortunately got a nil-nil draw which we, we were quite unlucky even though we did not create a lot of chances. But how do you see this one game? Well yeah hopefully it goes a bit more like uh, to, uh, the Barnsley game to be fair because if it does then it will be quite an easy uh, easy day yeah. uh, um, to be fair. So yeah, he's, I'm unsure to be fair because obviously we don't know what the lineup's going to be. Obviously, Bruce has been making quite a few changes in the cup, and um, I'm going to assume that uh, Gary Monk will do the same. Um, but they have got quite a good uh, strength in depth, similar to ourselves. Um, so yeah, it's going to be it's going to be quite an interesting game to be fair because it, it's one of those depend on the lineup, depend who gets the run out to what what I think it will be. Yeah. Um, so obviously, when we talk about our lineups in a bit, um, you know, this is what I'm hoping it will be. More so than what I think it'll be, um, but it's it's unsure because Gary Monk's quite a forward-thinking manager. He's quite attacking. He, you know, he likes to get it on the ball. He likes to get the uh, ball on the floor and start playing. Yeah. So it's it's I can see I can I can see it going one way or the other. To be fair, I can see him either absolutely smashing us and just knock the wind out of us completely, or I think we're going to carry on sailing down this uh, nice river we've got going down at the minute. <laughs> yeah, like you said, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of changes with it being the cup. Bruce did, made a lot of changes when we played Wigan last time out in the Cup. Uh, for me, I can see a lot of youth being put in with a lot of experience as well. So I think it, they'll be resting some key players for the next game in the league, which is Nottingham Forest. Uh, but like I said, I, I hope we carry on with this winning streak. I know it's, I don't really care about the Cup now. I'd rather focus on the league. Uh, but it would be nice to get into one more round, I, I, I assume. Uh, and especially against uh, a league rival would be nice but it was quite a tough game last last week against Middlesbrough and uh, hopefully we can try and go on from where we were and actually put the ball in the net this time this uh, I'm sure there'll be some discussion about the team lineup that we're going to say uh, I'm sure it will be pretty similar or there will be a lot of differences but who knows I, this is a team that I'd, I'd want to pick like you said um, but Bruce could go with something completely different I think we I don't know if we got um, Barnsley's predictive line right for all three of us um so we know how good we are so <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh yeah i'm hoping like you said to keep on the winning streak uh, from barnsley great performance hopefully we can keep on with the great performances keep on attacking uh i'm glad it's at home as well because i think away from home would have it would have been harder for us to get an a uh a get, get a result uh but hopefully like i said we can get into the next round. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So like I say, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. I don't know whether he's going to take it as serious because he's trying to get us, you know, a late promotion pl pl uh, push. I don't know whether he'll um, be that bothered about the cup. So mm. I think, I think what I think when we'll when we play, but I think we're going to find out exactly how Bruce kind of feels about it. Yeah, and go, we're going into the predicted lineups. Uh, for me, I've gone with Jed Steer in goal, Clark at left back. Ooh. With um, with uh, actually Bruce's press conference after the Barnsley game, he said he's definitely going to play this player in Elfig, uh, in Samba and the Lats to make up the defence. Two two holding midfielders of Yednak and Lansbury, three behind the striker of Bjornsson, O'Hare and El Mahamedi, and up front Hogan. Uh, I've gone for more of a four four two, but it's like a diamond midfield. I've gone for Steer, Bree. Elphick, like you say about Bruce mentioning Elphick, it just it's a bit of a coincidence. Uh, Samba and Delat playing at left back just to cover. I think Yedinak will get a run out just sitting in front of them. I'm gonna have Dool Hayes and Lansbury in the midfield with O'Hare and uh, behind Hogan and Davis. But like I said, I think Davis will be sitting deep doing the link up play uh, with the midfield more so. But I think Hogan will be like the main outlet for the goals if we do score. That is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Hogan scored twice last time in the cup against. Wigan and hopefully you can carry on uh, and keep on scoring. I think there will be a lot more youth. I think there'll be substituted on. Like you said, Callum O'Hare, I think will get substituted on. I think it might be a bit too much to play too many youth players, but uh, we'll have to see how, like you said, how serious Bruce takes the game and hopefully with, with the sides that we've said. But like you said, Middlesbrough have got good depth as well, so Hopefully, like we said, we can get a win. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I've gone for a 1-0. I think it'll be a sneaky win. 
for ourselves. I don't think it's going to be another Barnsley trip, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I think it'll be one nil. Um, like you said, I don't think I'll play too many of the uh, starting eleven from Barnsley, but I don't think I'll play too many of the youth. Um, but to be fair, the youth have been doing well in their own league, and uh, they played Southampton did really well yeah. against in the week. So you know, if that's, if that's you know something to go by, then we should be all right. Yeah, I've actually gone for a two-one win to Villa with the depth that Middlesbrough have got, and obviously with the the youth that we're going to input into the game. I think. We are going to concede, and we're not going to be as strong as the as the fit, well the strongest team with Terry and Chester at the back. No, uh, I think we we will be quite vulnerable, but hopefully going forward, I think there's enough there to get past Middlesbrough, and hopefully it will end in a Villa win, and we get into the into the next round of the Cobo Cup. So if you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, please subscribe to the channel, with your post notifications on to never miss a video. Link to a Facebook page will be in the description below, and also to join the fans, Scott out will be in the description below. The origin of Aston Villa, Bob the Villa.